So I've decided to hop out of my shell instead of doing top 10 lists and creepypastas. What I'm going to do is I'm I'm taking, I literally went to the creepypasta wiki, hit random story, and I'm going to kind of do a live reading thing and give my opinion on it. So this could either be like me praising a, a random story that deserves more credit or me totally bashing on something that's shit. Mostly going to be shit. Okay, let's... <laughs> Okay, here we go. This one's called The Time Eater. It's got no comments, so it's like one of those things that's probably buried in the wiki somewhere. My name is Leo Sanos. I'm 28, but actually 16 years old. <laughs> but wait a minute. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pretend like this is brilliant and it's gonna tie in later. My story started like a normal day. My routine was simple. Waking up, eating, showering, games lunch and then the usual meet up with my friends Jonas and Kyle. It was summertime so we had a lot of time to do it every day in fact but not anymore. We don't go to the forest every day. In fact we haven't been there in a week but when we went there it was different from the other times. Something changed. Okay th th this has failed to hook me. Um <laughs> okay wait 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 a minute so, so your name's Leo Sanos. I'm just gonna Pretend like that's a okay name, and you're 28 years old, but you're 16, and you, you you're you're telling the story like you're in a 16 year old point of view because you're like hanging out with your friends, going to the woods. So I'm you better be a genius, pal, because so far I'm just I don't know what what you're doing. My friends and I would go all around our bikes. We would mostly go to the forest on our usual path, but once we got over to my house, we quickly packed food, water, and first aid kit and left. <laughs> okay, you're cautious. I'll give you your. Well, let's face it, if I went in the woods, I would not pack a first aid kit. Like, alright. Once we got into the forest that one day, we took our path, but not so far in. A tree was on the path. We thought and Kyle had an idea going off the trail. Is that grammatically correct? <laughs> like, I, people shouldn't judge this because, uh, you know, there are stories that I got great comments on saying how good the story was when I had to grammar Nazi it to hell just for it to function. So this is pretty normal considering. But uh, yeah, I'll just keep going. I don't know what we were thinking. The more I did, the dumber I became. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what we were thinking. The more I did, the dumber it became. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's... Suck it up, keep it okay. But anyways, we went off the track. We went pretty far. We found a little hut? A little hut, okay, 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 all right. A little hut, beautiful. I could see the progression in the story. It might have been abandoned, might not have. I remember every second of it. Inside that hut was a bunch of bones and dust. We got out there quickly and got lost. We were together but still lost. Then, it happened. Okay, here we go, we're about to figure out what happened. They saw some bones, they're like, oh, fucking shit, and they, they run. Uh, what? What? Uh, wait, so, they, they ran together, but they got lost. Like, don't get me wrong, if I saw bones, I'd be like, <laughs> like, I wouldn't keep my cool. But, following tracks, aren't you? Didn't it say you're following tracks? How do you get lost? You, oh, okay, well, let's figure out what this thing is. The creature, it hovered over the trees, no face, it pulled out a pocket watch and pointed at it. Before I knew it, I was in my bed, like an earlier today. It happened eight times. Eight! Guess who's in eight? Went and saw it. Eight didn't change. The last time I saw it, I figured it out. I was home, and I knew what to do. I told my friends that we should play video games. They said no. They left to the forest. Now they're reported missing. Wait a minute. So, so Slender Man in a friggin' uh, friggin' Monopoly thing and a, of this a watch was like, time tra- like, what? What is going on here? Okay, so some- f yeah, so faceless Monopoly Slender Man blows the watch threw you back in time. Uh. But on the first day I had grown three inches and my hair on my chest in other areas. Oh. <laughs> I think that one took away my life, or advanced it. The bones, the dust, it was right there in my face. I wasn't the only one who saw it. Saw the time eater. I thought about it and decided to go back for Jonas and Kyle. Okay, okay, okay. 
you, you realize that there's something that totally just effed up your life to the fourth degree, and you're willing to, s to save your... You e either have the highest morals on this planet, or you, you this is a terrible story. Oh, okay, here we go. My discovery was shocking. Their bikes and their backpacks on the ground, along with their bones and dust, like I thought. Something weird was happening to me also. My voice it was way deeper than what it should be. I think my body was about 21 years old so far. I need to get to talk to someone. Tell the police. No, not the police. Not anyone. <laughs> Okay, wow. May, uh, first off, I would probably just tell an adult. Oh, you are an adult. Yeah, yeah I don't know. You, you fucked. You just accept that. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Not anyone would even believe me. That's, that's true. Back with the creature, it had a metallic hand. Like, things. And had regular pants. And the shoes. There was a big hole in his jacket with nothing but darkness inside it. But there was dust under it. The pockets had a strange light coming out, and the chest was ripped and dusty. I also remember a twig wrapped around its arm. That's the weirdest description I've ever... Okay, so it's got a pocket, it's a black hole, it's got a twig wrapped around its arm? What? It's... Uh, uh. I figured that it takes out healthy living years out of a person and makes them age to dust and bone. The glowing in the pockets is probably the living years. I have no idea what else it does. I can also hear the phrase, time does fly by during my sleep. Help me. You have come to quite the conclusion. Okay, um, how do you just automatically have all this knowledge that, oh, this thing is sucking your life force, or... Uh, you don't just know that. You gotta make it so it's found out somehow. It, uh, uh. My god. I'm now about five feet taller than the last check. My outer body is probably 27 years old. The time eater must be sucking my life out of me. But I've been having horrible dreams. It's taunting me, waiting to strike. I need to know what it does and how. I remember going into the shack when I looked for my friends and seeing nothing there. I must go check. Okay, this guy's trying to... Trying to be a valiant hero and Oh god, okay, here we go. <sighs> By the time I got there, the bones and dust of my friends were gone. I checked in the shack, and surely there were bones and dust there. Probably their bones. I think it could go through time and probably space. If it can, take time, it can probably go through time. Let me read that. If it can take time, it could probably go through time. Okay, that makes sense. See, you guys need to realize how much editing I do on in here. I'll, I'll read a sentence like that and be like, Ooh, do that again. It probably is disintegrating and needs the extra years to live on. <laughs> it's a life force strand. Okay, dude, we get it that you've connected the dots out of the fucking sky, but you do, we get it. It is a dangerous creature. I mean, think. Having a repeated day for like eight times in a row. <laughs> they, they legit, they legitly said for like eight times in a, in a, Okay. It could be any given day. Any. It could be a great day, a bad day, even a normal day. It will give you bad nightmares and haunt you, eating away at the time you have left. My name is Leo Sanos. I'm 29, but actually 16 years old, and I need help. Okay. Oh, okay. So, you've redeemed yourself as far as explaining how the hell you were... 16, but like 20 something at the same time. Would I rate the story? Uh, pfft, what should I do out of 10? I'll probably give it like a 4 out of 10.